Hi, this is Aaron Montgomery with Browns Richmond Volkswagen. Just making a quick little video for you on the 2017 Tiguan Sport, the certified pre-owned with a black exterior and a black interior. First thing we'll see here is the halogen high beams on the left and then the LED projector headlights for the uh, low beams and then the driving lights all the way circled around in LED as well as halogen fog lights down there. Look, or uh, yeah, fog lights and then up here are the driving lights, yep. Now, full alloy, kind of grayish black uh, wheels. Looks really nice with the rest of the color. And you have the LED strip for your turn signal on the outside, and then your defrost windows in there. Now this does have keyless entry. You'll notice this little divot right here. That's if I have the key in my pocket, I can just do that. Locks the door, do it again, set the alarm. Now, if I wanna unlock it, as long as the key's in my pocket, just put my hand in there and it's unlocked. Very nice. With the Sport, you get this bottom part painted as well as a few other features like the wheels and then the panoramic sunroof. But that key difference, all the other uh, 17 Tiguans of that body style are gonna have, this isn't gonna be painted. So it just, it looks really sleek, looks really sporty. And I honestly prefer it. As you can see, that back bumper is painted too, all the way around. Now to open these up, from the trunk very easy button is dead center below the emblem and then right next to it we have the high resolution camera right there with a nice high resolution screen that it's connected to in the center up there now this does have the four uh all-weather rubber mats that say tiguan on it just in case you forget what you're driving you can just look down and see what it is and this has the waterproof trunk liner in the back with this little lip right here that uh if something does spill it keeps it contained within that it doesn't just go everywhere and this is actually very easy to wash you just take it out rinse it off with a hose let it dry put it back now we have a full-size spare under here makes it really easy to change a tire since it is all-wheel drive you do need a full-size spare it's going to be a little bit skinnier but that's just to uh, make sure the all-wheel drive system or just so there's enough room back there can't be the full size but as far as radius goes it is the correct size all righty let's go ahead and check out the back seat got to unlock it all the way put my hand in there do it again now all four are unlocked now i can come back here see so with the black leatherette interior very nice and soft some nice stitching back here you got your vents back here and a circle charger as well and a little cubby hole and you also have these in both of the back seats and then cup holders and storage on the side now all four window here's your door lock but all four window are around this are going to be one touch automatic up up and down uh it's no longer just a luxury for the people sitting in the front or just the driver all four people get it the driver can control with their switches all four one touch and same with the people in the back seat now let's go ahead and hop in now i am six foot so I put the front seat in a comfortable comfortable position for me. And then I'm six feet back here as well. And I still have plenty of space. Uh, stretch my legs out comfortably. I can lean back and, uh, you know, not sit proper. But yeah, if I do want to sit proper, I'm actually much more comfortable. Now uh, you have, you can fold this third seat out and uh, have some cup holders and an armrest there as well as access the back right there. But if you want the seat, pulls up, locks in unlock it see it's locked right now can't pull it just pull that very easy as you can see it doesn't take much effort now here's a big kicker the sunroof back here this panoramic sunroof goes all the way back to the headrest for the second row that's just not this is also a feature that's no longer reserved for the people in the front now the people in the back can enjoy a sunroof or moonroof uh whatever you want to call it but only this front get glass opens uh just goes over like that if both of them opened it would just get way too loud in the cab uh even though it does have a nice uh sound block or air blocking uh thing that folds up when you open it in that way the sound is actually quite quiet but uh let's go to the important seat that's the driver's seat i feel like everyone's more concerned with that anyway so here we are the sport gives you the power seats as well as three memory positions for it and uh again your one touch uh, window switches right here door lock mechanism right here and then your side mirror controls 
and your little alarm light. Uh, but you turn it to L, you can wiggle it around, adjust the L or the left uh, mirror. Turn it to R, adjust the right one, turn it to zero. Now you just got a fun little toy to play with. Uh, you can turn it all the way over there. And now your mirrors are on defrost, or if the car is on, I could turn it to that. And it'll actually fold the side mirrors in. I'll show you that real quick. Just foot on the brake as long as you have the key in the car with you. And then hold down the button until it starts. Very nice. And we're going. Welcome to Volkswagen. All right, let's go ahead and shut the door. Zoom out a little bit. So if I want to fold that in, again, now it's set to defrost, but I just turn it back there and it folds it in immediately. Same with that one over there. Now I'm gonna fold it back out and there you go. Nice and cool. Okay, this does have automatic headlights. So I can set it to auto, pull it out, or set it to on and pull it out for the fog lights to be on. Otherwise, fog lights are just on auto. Uh, turn it on, I don't want the fog lights on, I leave it pushed in. I want headlights and fog lights on, pull it out. Very simple very easy I like to leave it on auto so yeah now you got your volume control and your bluetooth phone control uh cruise control all that and then your mfi data in the center you can control with this so i can pull up assistance my settings and then my mfi with and then current audio navigation phone all that let's go to mfi now with these up and down arrows i can cycle between more information First, we have the uh, digital speed instead of just the speedometer dial. A speed warning you can set. It doesn't actually slow the car down or prevent it going a speed. It just lets you know if you're going above that. Travel time, consumption, average consumption, your current range left on your gas tank, how far you've driven, your average speed, and then back to, back to uh, your current speed. And you see we have the temperature gauge over there since I just started. It hasn't even warmed up yet. And then the uh, fuel gauge right there and the tachometer, speedometer. Good to go. You have your high beam control right here as well as your cruise control settings. And then your wiper control right there. Nice and easy. And you, have, you do have dual zone climate control in this uh, sport model. So the driver and the passenger can have two different temperatures. Right now they're linked. So as I adjust it with an auto button, I can even, it'll control the fan speed itself or I can just control it on my own. Now, if I do want to separate them, I desync it by pressing the button, and then I can turn that, or I can turn that and adjust the respective side. Or if it is synced up, in order to break them apart, all I need to do is just turn this dial, and immediately it desyncs it and goes from there. Sync it back up, good to go. Passenger always just syncs up to the driver, never the other way around. Very easy though, and you can turn off the fans just like that. But I'm wearing a jacket by accident and I'd like to be a little chillier. Uh, as you can see, we have eight hole vents just for the front on the top, which is unnecessary, but you have so much control and customization of where the airflow is gonna go. Um, I feel like even if this car didn't have the, the, one, the vents back here, you would still have a really high quality circulation of air. I could put the top ones up shoot them in the back and put the bottom ones, aim it towards uh, the front passengers and do it that way. Right. It's just so much customization. You can be really comfortable. You have heated seats for both the driver and the passenger. Control all the fan, where, they're, where the fans are coming out. Um, then your glove box you can lock and all that. It even has vents in there. That little dial right there, that's just to control how much air is in there. So. If you're like me, you always keep a candy bar on hand. Now the chocolate won't melt, you can keep it cold. Um, and then go back to band. This is the band button gets you to the radio and uh, I can press the band and cycle between AM, FM and then Sirius XM and uh, cycle back. And then you can have all your presets and favorites loaded up. Uh, since this one was wiped recently, there's just no preset saved yet. Uh, it does have its own navigation, which is really nice. And then you have go to menu and you do have app connect and that's for apple carplay and android auto uh just really helpful thing so if you want if you're more comfortable with the layout of the gps on your phone you can have it display up here as well as listen to your podcast audiobooks uh whatever music app you use spotify pandora apple music I, there's a ton more but most of them work and uh and work really well so ever since i got app connect my my life has changed 
So, in order to connect to your App Connect, you would plug in in this USB right here, and you also have an audio jack, uh, just in case you would like to do that. And then a little circle jack right here. You just turn that around, make it nice and pretty. The traction control button right there. Just some storage spots. And then your CD player is right up there. Hazard button right above that and all of that. You have your auto dimming rear view mirror. So as a headlight hits it, uh, it's kind of like the transition sunglasses or regular glasses, whatever you want to call them. They'll, it'll get a little bit darker and shadier so it's not as blinding uh, going right into your eye. You don't have to adjust it and turn the light away or do that little flip thing at the bottom. It just does that for you, which I find pretty nice. Now here is the sunroof controls. You can, in the center, you can control the, uh, that little guy. And I can stop it or just let it keep going. Right, let's just leave it right there. But yeah, really nice. Control how much light comes in. And uh, if you want to move the sunroof back, you just turn this dial. All those little dots are uh, like a distance back. So I can just do like one click and it'll just open up a little bit right there and stop. Or I can do like halfway and then it'll go halfway. Or I can do all the way. And then that's all the way. So go ahead and just set it back to normal and it'll close up on its own. And if you want to crack it, you just move this whole thing up. It's like a button. And then it is cracked. Pull the button back down and it closes. Very nice and easy. Lots of customization just to get perfectly comfortable. Whoever's driving or riding, it's perfect. Now you do have the electric parking brake right here. Pull it up, it lights up. To put it back down, you just put your foot on the brake and push it down, similar to a handbrake. You lift it up to engage, push it down to disengage, it's exactly how you manipulate that button. Two cup holders with a little cover right there. And then you also have this little cubby hole in here. Nice and easy, good space. Nice soft leather wrapped uh, top for it so your arm doesn't get tired or anything. It's a good in a good position to drive comfortably. But uh, yeah, I mean, cup holders in the door and everything. The coolest thing about these Tiguans and Volkswagens in general is just their use of space down here. They keep it low and out of the way. That way your arms can move around comfortably and uh, you're not just bumping into things. Your cups are far back so they're not in your way if you're manipulating the shifter uh, or just going about your day, waving around, getting animated like I do. So Now since this is a certified pre-owned, I'm sure you see all of the things letting you know that it is. Uh, you do get an extra two year, 24,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on top of whatever's left on it. Since this is only 22,000 miles, 21,740, um, you still have a little bit left on that because the original factory warranty was a three year 36 for the basic and then six year uh, 60, I believe, uh, for the drivetrain. So you just add that two year 24 to the bumper to bumper and it covers that additionally so yeah if you have any other questions please feel free to let me know my number will be in the email i sent it to you and that'll be my cell phone so it's easiest if you want to text or call me uh, if i don't answer you can just leave me a text or leave me a voicemail whatever you're comfortable with I look forward to hearing from you I look forward to working with you just let me know what i can do to help thank you and have a great day